Hi everybody, Christopher Diaz here with Viral Style Fulfillment. Today we're going to go over how to bulk clone a product on Shopify. Now you can create a product and adjust your settings or you can use a pre-created product. But it is important to remember that your pricing, product selection, and product colors from this page will all be used for each product that you're cloning. Now the title will be adjusted as the file name, but the description, tags, which can be used for automatic collections, collection name, which will be used for manual collections, and your Shopify settings or toggles for importing back images, publishing automatically to the storefront, and automatically importing to the Shopify storefront will be used for all of the clone products. After adjusting your settings, click Launch. So you're going to need to wait for your product to import to Shopify. Once you see it in the Imported tab, click the Bulk Create Products button. Log in using your Viral Style account email and password. And be sure you click products, not campaigns. We're cloning products here, not campaigns. Click the bulk clone button to the right of the product and download the designated template. Now we want to apply these designs to the designated template. You can use Photoshop or Adobe Illustrator. But here you can see the layer on and off and I've named it as template to keep confusion to a minimum. And now I will open all of my design files in Photoshop and drag and drop each design into the template. So I'll drag and drop Think, scale it to size, center it, and the blue box around the outside of the template is the print area on the unisex cotton t-shirt and unisex hoodie. So I'll remove the file just so I don't get confused and I'll repeat the process. Again, dragging and dropping to the template, adjusting to size, make sure the design is centered, aligned, and then I will name the layer to keep confusion to a minimum. So just repeat the process for all remaining files. I've only done four here, but you can do up to 50 designs at a time. So now we're gonna remove the template and we are going to save the files. Now it is very important that you remember the file names will be the product title. So I'm writing conspiracy here and Conspiracy will be the product group's title. You wanna make sure that you save it as a PNG, and I've pre-created a folder called Import Zip 1, so I can locate all the files and compress them easily. And then just repeat the process. The file name will be the product title, saving the file as a PNG to the designated folder, so I can easily locate the folder and compress the files. Now I'm gonna repeat the process here for the remaining files. And I'm going to open my folder. So select all the files and compress. Make sure you name the zip file something familiar so you can find it easily. and then go back to your bulk clone page. Make sure you find the product that you initially created, upload the zip file, be sure to select which domain you'd like to import these products to. Many of you sellers are using multiple domains for your viral style account and adjust your advanced settings. I'll remove import back images because I haven't uploaded any images on the back of my products. You'll see the progress bar scale up to 100%, and now we wait.
So on the top right hand side, you'll see the status of the import. It'll let you know how many designs are being processed and if there are any errors. So refresh this page until all of your products have bulk imported and check the status regularly. You can see that products are coming in and rendering. And you can also click on the import to check the file name, design, status, and description. And there are obviously no errors found here. We followed all the guidelines and requirements. And it's really that simple. The most important part to remember out of all of this is that you must follow the guidelines. You can see here that all four files that I've cloned are in place as their own products, including the original product group that I had created to bulk clone. There are zero errors, so this bulk import was a success.